All right, my friends, time for another Revit tip. This time, we're going to talk about annotation, okay? I'm going to show you how to use a material tag. So there's basically three main ways for people to annotate, say, their sections, okay? You cut a wall section and you either put text in and you point at everything. Another way is to put in a material tag and it pulls the material that you're actually using and writes down the, uh, the comment for you right there. Or you could use um, keynoting. A lot of firms are going on to keynoting, but that's an external file that pulls information in and you just have to keep that external file updated to use in your Revit. So if you're not ready to use a <clears throat> keynoting, but you don't want to just use text, here is what you can do. So let me move this up here. All right. The example building that we're going to use is, yep, you heard it, our little architecture office right here. And I'm going to take you right on into the plan. And here's what I'm talking about. I've got a section here. There's a wall section. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay. On, when you cut a wall section through your building, you can type. If you, if you wanted to type, you could. But I've seen people that are calling out the exterior material, either brick veneer, and then maybe someone else on the team on a different section is calling it just brick. And yet another person could be calling it um, like uh exterior brick see because it's just a text file you could be calling it different things on different views so you gotta be really careful even typos so let me show you how this works this is my wall section that i've i've put some some notes on and i just want to i'm going to clear some of these and put them right back with the um <clears throat> with my material tag and I'll, then i'll show you how that it works okay so let's just move these off of here. So look at this. Okay, so we're sitting here. We've cut our section through the building. And if we have it set up, and I'll show you how to set it up in a second, we can go to annotate. And then you can click on right here in the middle, in the tags area, there's material tag. And all you have to do is click on different materials. And so here we go, material tag. If I click right here on, look at that, one inch standing seam metal roofing. And then I've got some three-quarter inch plywood. And look at that. It's a, um, a two by 12 wood rafter. So Revit knows what these items are because I've taken, there's a one by, uh, I mean, a two by four wood soffit, bam. And I've even got right on it, I'll just click on it. <laughs> this guy is half inch exterior gypsum board. This is brick veneer. I'm not gonna click all of them, but let me just show you. Brick veneer, there's an airspace. We've got some um, half inch fiberglass gypsum, two by six stud, five eighths inch chipboard. I'm telling you, when you go to another section, and I'll just go cut one. Let me just go cut one. <laughs> I love it. Okay, I'm gonna cut a wall section right here. Okay, bam, cut a wall section right through my wall and open it up. So here we've got a wall section just a fresh one and if i zoom in here to the wall sure enough let me put a material tag look anywhere i go in the project it knows what these things are here's how you do it go to your materials go to manage materials and you have to make a different material for each of the different objects that are in your project Example, gypsum wallboard. Let me go type in gypsum. In the search field, I just type gyp. Now look at here. I've got exterior gypsum wallboard, half inch. I've got gypsum wallboard, half inch. And I've got five eighths. I've got ceiling board, half inch. Fiberglass face gypsum, half inch. See, I've got the different ones specific laid out. Now, let me just go to wood and show you what I've got with wood. Here's some wood. Look at this. Here's wood joists and they're of different varying sizes, two buys and wood rafters of varying sizes. You can even put in plywood of varying sizes. 
Now here's the trick. Here's how it works. Where is that information coming from? It's not pulling the name of the material. It's pulling from the identity tab. So you set these up. Here is half inch plywood. Okay. And on the identity tab, all you have to do is click on that and type in right here on the description, half inch plywood sheathing, whatever note you want it to show up on your elevations. So on three quarters inch, I've got it saying three quarter inch plywood and so on. So if you set up and make a different material, I'm going to come back to you guys here. There we go. If you set up a different material for each of the different objects, you don't want to, the studs to just say wood stud. You want to say two by four stud, or you don't want it to say metal stud. You want it to say six inch metal stud or three and five eighths inch metal stud. And with chipboard, don't just say gypsum board because that's all it's going to say. You want it to say um, five eighths gypsum board or half inch chipboard. Okay. And then when you go into your wall, let me just go in here. I'll just click on this wall and hit edit type and we'll go inside and look at the structure. So here's the structure and here's a preview of it right there. The brick is five eighths of a, I mean, three and five eighths inch thick. But if you name things correctly, look, your gyp sheathing right here on this, uh, this item is the half an inch. And here is our finish, the gypsum wallboard, five eighths of an inch and the metal stud, six inch. So when you're building your walls, especially your exterior walls or your roof or your ceilings, your soffits, your floors, actually call out in the materials exactly what they are for the correct thickness and the correct type. Make sure on the identity tab, you've got the description set correctly and you will have wall sections that work just like this. And I'm going to put this last, I'll annotate this for you. <laughs> you saw it earlier. Crying out loud. You've, um, let me just, um, let, let me type in, where am I? Okay. Annotate and material tag. And sure enough, you can get any of these. They, you click, boom, put it right on in there. And if you need the airspace in there, if you need to tell it exactly what every one of these things is, and they, of course, they line up with each other. And you can take it all the way down to the foundations. If we've got eight, we've, if we've got eight inch CMU, if we've got concrete footing, see structural, if we've got brick veneer, we've got a six inch concrete slab. I'm telling you people, it's really straightforward to, um, to put these, there's grout. So it's, it's really straightforward to put these built into your materials so that you don't have to just type with text, nor do you have to go to the complexity if you don't want to yet with keynoting. That's a different video, but you'll be able to call out every single item. I'm going to go to my other wall section here and show you what else I've annotated. Where am I going? <laughs> Back to the plan. And come over here. I'll show you the now <clears throat> the only thing. So I've got just different things called out. Now these material tags. One quick note: they won't call out filled regions, and they won't call out line work. So those are the only few things that you would have to actually call out with a note, um, with a piece of text. So. For the majority of your wall sections, you could tag and move on with the material tag and get it done quickly and accurately. You would only have to go in and actually use a text for, oh yeah, in this insulation also. Insulation, the auto, you know, the insulation tool, and for filled regions and for line work. You know, those little detail items detail items don't tag and you would have to call those out individually but for every piece of material that's actually delineated and you actually build in your model all materials can be set and use the material tag all right
for you guys using um, text, why don't you give this a shot, kick it up a notch so that you've got your nomenclature um, accurate throughout the entire set. And uh, we'll talk about keynoting on some other future video. All right, until then, happy reveting. You guys have a great one and I'll talk to you later.